Sean Cox, 70 years of a most interesting life. Ron was born for Malden, and just like Malden, there were many ups and downs. Ron was born a tiny boy with an oversized head, which he used to his advantage to fill with all of the creative ideas it would create. Despite what many predicted, Ron grew up to be a clean-cut and wholesome young man. Uh, for the citizenry of Malden, Ron was a highly respected member of his high school class and was proud to graduate in the top half of the bottom fifth of his class. After high school, one of Ron's first selfless jobs was picking up the city's youth in his unmarked van. What transpired exactly is a well-kept secret, but some of the survivors speak fondly, albeit hauntingly, about the van. After a long sealed incident with the van, Ron went looking for success in the world of art. But the truth was, Ron was only good at drawing pictures of himself. Wandering aimlessly through the streets of Malden looking for something to give his life meaning, Ron stumbled upon MATV. At first, the staff rebuffed him. But Ron isn't the type to let a little thing get in his way. Ron was going to be a big star. Or a mediocre star in Malden. Ron threw himself into the world of MATV. No task was too small for him. Ron attempted shows in many different genres trying to find the right fit. Undeterred by utter failures, embarrassing kerfuffles, and unmitigated disasters, Ron forged ahead knowing in his heart that one day he would have an idea that wasn't truly detestable by any and all that might actually work. He spent long days into nights, trying to think of that one thing that would make a difference. The one thing that would give him the fame and the respect he rightfully deserved. He'd outlast them all. Rika, gone. George, gone. John, gone. Jeff, gone. Susan, gone. Lindsay, gone. Anna, gone. And that is how Ron Cox has lived through 70 years of a most interesting life.